Good day. My name is Angelo Guillen de Mesa, and today I'm going to talk to you about LPU Cavites College of Fine Arts and Design. Alright, so what is LPU Cavites CFAD? LPU Cavite is the youngest college of fine uh, the College of Fine Arts and Design is the youngest college in LPU Cavites lineup. <clears throat> it's been only f in existence for the past three years. And uh, the history is that it was spinned off uh, after the multimedia arts program was expanded. And at the same time, we have new offerings uh, that I will be discussing later, as well as we'll be transferring to a new building in the coming August semester. All right, so the mission of the college is to produce multifaceted, multivis multifaceted visually literate, critical thinking artists conscious of the human condition, espousing the ideals of the university founder, Jose P. Laurel, being a Laysian college. The values of the university is of course reflected upon the College of Fine Arts and Design itself, but at the same time, we are visually literate critical thinking artists. The vision of the college is, it envisions itself as a hub of the arts in the Southeast Asian region founded in truth for God and country. Going back again to the university mottos of Prodeo et Patria, uh, Veritas et Fortitudo et Veritas, we believe that art should be founded upon truths and it should be in the service for the self, for the God, and for country. So let's talk about who's who that you would expect to see in CFAD. The Dean of the College is Javier Antonio Laurel, who has a uh, Master's in Fine Arts in Writing and Poetics in Naropa University in Colorado, who is also a graduate of Humanities and the University of Asia and the Pacific, and is currently taking his PhD uh, for Literature at DLSU in Manila. He's also the former Assistant Headmaster of LPU Cavite International School. He's a practicing poet, writer, playwright and the advisor for the theater org of LPU Cavite, Tanghalang Laikeon. Yours truly is the program chairperson, um, Angelo Guillen de Mesa, who graduated uh, with AB Humanities in University of Asia and the Pacific as well, with a certificate in marketing communications. I'm also a photographer, writer, critic, researcher, and professional photographer with almost what, how many decades of industry experience. I'm also the curatorial head, uh, head of Thousandfold uh, Photo Book Library and also the advisor of the CFAD student government. We also have our official arts organization uh, under CFAD called LIGMAC, the Lyceum Group of Multimedia Artists and Creatives. And of course, a special shout out to our office secretary, Ms. Jane. As for our faculty, we have Mr. Joel Cesar Sandejas, who specializes in MMA research in running businesses and creative theory. Uh, critical thinking and creative theory is one of his specialties. He also foresees um, thesis for multimedia art students. Uh, Jebi Barrios, who has a wealth of animation knowledge, like if you're into 2D animation, um, drawing and graphics, Sir Jebby has industry experience working overseas as well, overseeing full-length film projects or working with full-length film projects with regard to animation. Nisnika Natividad, one of their youngest in our roster, is a graphic design and multimedia artist currently taking her master's in multimedia arts. Uh, Sir Tony Antonio Oquias, who's a former creative director at an ad agency who specializes in photography, advertising, and design. And of course, our fine arts teacher, uh, Sir Jorge Corong, who is also a practicing artist specializing in alternative methods. You should really see some of his works using coffee beans or coffee grounds. So let's talk about some of the program offerings that we have. First and foremost is the Bachelor of Fine Arts in Visual Communication. The program is characterized by the process of pursuing aesthetic concerns using the principles of design, 
supplementary sensory devices to creatively translate, produce, and express ideas, convey messages, and raise opinions from audiences and stakeholders of information. Lots of jargon, lots of things to unpack, but the Bachelor of Fine Arts and Visual Communications boil down in one thing. You're going to paint, you're going to draw, <laughs> and you're going to design. Because at its core, visual communication is about conveying a certain message or a certain form or language using visuals. Maybe painting, image making, or design. It's about conveying a certain message. So if you, my dear students, have something to say, maybe consider visual communication. It's a fine arts course. You'll be painting a lot. And if you're into painting or drawing and all that, maybe visual communications is for you. Our next course, uh, the longest course, uh, not longest, it's the oldest course, uh, which spun off the College of Fine Arts and Design, our Bachelor of Multimedia Arts, grounded on design, technology, and the visual arts. Multimedia arts is a field of interdisciplinary study geared towards creative storytelling and expressions through the convergence of digital media technologies, forms, and practices. Bachelor of Multimedia Arts is when you are into technology, admiring it with the art form. It really is about creative storytelling and expression. If you have something to say, but want to use different media, not just say film, not just photography, if you want to incorporate all of the multidisciplinary disciplines and form one cohesive artwork, or use that artwork to convey a message for the uh, for products and services for company needs and whatnot multimedia arts might be the one for you so you'd be working with uh, animation you'd be working with photography you'd be working with film you'd go undergo understanding graphic design you'd have to understand what art is and to a certain extent some of our elective offerings are very interesting as well so consider taking multimedia arts if you're into those things. Bachelors in Photography, the latest um, the latest program offered by the College of Fine Arts and Design LPU Cavite, which was just recently approved. So if ever you guys want to take Bachelors in Photography, you'll be part of the Pioneer Batch. What will you be doing in the Bachelors in Photography? A critical and practical approach to the art and practice of photography. Modern society has made it easier to make images, but the issues and challenges facing photography have become larger than ever before. The modern practitioner must therefore be ethical, visually literate, a master of technique, and knowledgeable in theory and critical thought. So, do you want to be a photographer? Bachelor's in photography. As easy as that. But here's the thing though. Even if you're not, even say you're just remote, remotely thinking of of taking up photography because it's where your interests lie. Does that mean you're going to be exclusively a photographer by the end of the course? Not necessarily. Yes, what you'd be doing is excessive amounts of photography. <laughs> you'll also do a lot of critical thinking. You'll also be doing um, a lot of research, which you'll be developing skills. And these skills of understanding what's in front of you is what's going to translate into making you an effective individual that could be a benefit or an asset to your own business or to products, uh, to, to corporations, brands, and services. Because what is photography but looking? So we'll be learning how to look, whether it be problems, whether it be something that is beautiful, or whether it be something that could solve issues in our daily lives. So, the Bachelor's in Photography is about critical thinking, photographing, and a lot of looking. If that sounds appealing to you, consider taking Bachelor's in Photography. Again, I've talked about career options already, but um, the nice thing about taking an arts uh, degree or being in an art school is that the options are unlimited as long as it requires creative thinking or creative thought you can pursue that 
it's something that can't be replaced if you've heard of the fourth industrial revolution where everything will be automated or during this pandemic a lot of businesses struggled one business that didn't struggle to an extent is the arts arts actually at this point in the pandemic uh, there's been a lot of a fervor to ask for content creation like everybody's looking for video editors or designers because they want clear and cohesive and creative messaging to come across of course the arts is there as always could be a studio artist and with the amount of thinking and research that you would be doing you could pursue art criticism and art research um, from especially if you take fine arts and visual communications you could pursue being a curator gallery manager exhibition designer or production design and of course with multimedia and fine arts and photography you'd be going through and experiencing what it's like to be in advertising to be a creative director or creating your own uh, being an art director be the one conceptualizing and thinking about advertising do you want to be an illustrator as well if you really want to pursue drawing fine arts or multimedia arts would be there for you uh, visual developers visual merchandisers just like in photography it's about perception it's about looking and seeing so what i've said uh content creation like there's so many options and people think na walang pera sa art it's because they don't want to pay for the good art and what we're trying to, he- to do here in cfad is to make sure that you'd be good at it so yeah uh, i'd like to thank you all for listening that's pretty much what uh, the college of fine arts and design is um, once again my name is Angelo Guillen de Mesa the program chairperson for the College of Fine Arts and Design um, if you have any questions uh, please please don't hesitate to send a message over at our Facebook page at facebook.com slash EACFAD or you can just search LPU Cavite College of Fine Arts and Design uh, thank you very much once again and uh, I hope you all have a wonderful day